So at this time, I'm going to see if there's any questions or comments. Uh, actually, if you make your comments, keep your comments rather brief because, uh, you know, we've got to start a little bit later and there's another session this evening, isn't there? Yes, yes indeed. So are there any questions or comments? We'll take the preferably questions. Hey, they had free reign. 
And so they uh, intercourse to yes, with a bunch of people. That's right. All right? So, and don't, you know, don't take Josephus as the last word. Because Josephus may not be who you think he is. Right? Josephus always, you know, the name is Flavius. All right? Josephus has a connection with the Romans. All right? So with that, those connections, you better be suspect of some of the things that he says. All right? So don't, don't run out there. And then Maimonides, Maimonides had a bias, right, against other people darker than he was. That's the truth. All right? So he was examining with Egyptian clothes and other things because they, they, they inflated his head. So don't take, you know, everything. No. Look, what you have to understand with this way of life, and I think this is what the hell was getting at, is there's a way for everybody right. yes. to come in. Yeah. All right? Now, that truth may be a little hard for some people, right. but that's, that's, just, that's just it in the end. And there was no pure people. That's, I, I teach that right in here. Right. You know, get off the pure people stuff. We want pure from Jump Street. <laughs> Okay. So I'm just, you know, I ain't, you know, look, let me tell you, when you go into history, remember, all histories have a bias. Even our history is biased to someone else. Alright? So, when, when, when you understand that, okay, then you will understand that, you know, there's only one race on this planet. And see, y'all all say human race, right? Have you ever broken down? What does human mean? Oh. Everything on the planet has color. The only thing that didn't want to be in that human race is the one who spoke with a what? The people over here who we call the red man told you that. Everybody else, and they believe in one God. See, y'all got that one. They believe in one God. All right? They might not have called him what you look, the, the language will confound it. Alright? So when you just when we speak, look, the thing, all this bias and stuff coming up because now we are saying that we are the name Israel. Right? That's what I what the elders say. They tell us who is not. But they don't say who is. And when you wake up, the same thing he has had, every just about everybody in here has had that experience. I was at the University of Chicago, white boy slid up to me, and he said, uh, you know, when I was in Israel, and he was a Jewish kid, they were real filthy rich, and they already had jobs, but we trying to get through there to get a job. And he said, I asked about the, uh, the black Hebrews in the mall, in the yeah. and he said, and I asked my rabbi in Israel, uh, do they really have a case? He, this is what he told me. It was a lie. He told me. He said, I'm right about to go over this side. He said, hey, right. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of him having a connection with God, anyway. Okay? But it's not something we talk about. You will find the same thing. I go through a thing about the myths. All right? About who discovered what, and you know what I mean? Like, uh, the, the teach that he is. The Columbus discovered what? He was lost. And they, they call the shepherds for the lost found tribe of Israel. Okay, so everybody, they've been looking for everybody, and I got an answer for you right here. Come in class, you get it. Okay? Jews are not a race. That's in that big book, uh, The Diaspora and the Lost Tribe of Israel. They, they, this is what they put out in 2008, I think, 2004. All right? See, stop choosing. That's what they do in history with y'all. They have you choose inside. They have you choose inside. Okay? And the one I, I've been going through this in the last couple of weeks, right? This is, this, I, I had this and I sat on this for about 12 or 14 years myself before I really read it. This researcher uncovers the Ark of the Covenant. I heard in here today, what was the Ark? Right? And it was going to be a shepherd right. from the rain. Yeah. And uh, 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 Rabbi Bourne really broke it down the night way today. And I bet those of us here that, was, that don't normally be here, they got an understanding of what that are and what that meant. Right? So, one last little thing, ain't going to get no. Because I'm free here. I'm going to sit up outside. I'm going to sit out, out there. Alright? Researcher uncovers the Ark of the Covenant. I got this in 1996, right? February 27th. 
this Italian girl found this out. She said, I found out. Okay? Uh, what's the girl uh, that died? Uh, was a good friend with you. All right? She told me, she said, I opened an arcade one when she came. Right? And this arcade, it ain't just one. All right? But this is what she said. She said she's in a group that's, that's, that's called RISE, R-I-S-E, which means the Research Institute for Social uh, Equality. And she said, RISE was formed to archive and analyze manuscripts, art, literature, and bring to the public's finding that documents indigenous cultures in the ancient world. Well, I know Rabbi and me know what that means, right? When they get to indigenous, they talk about some form of you, right? And she proves it. She goes down and says, she says, thousands have searched for the ark of the covenant for centuries, but it seems to disappear without a trace. You know what he said? Every time we come to you, it's a mystery or something strange. <laughs> then she, I'm just, she said, but I was thinking, what is an ark? What is an ark in biblical terms? Asking the child. Mm -hmm. The child will say, What was the ark? No ark. And they will both likely quickly reply, A boat. Quite simply, in biblical terms, the ark was a portable boat shrine. The truth is shocking. Then she drops down and she says, Why were they overlooked? They have found, they, they know they got the answer. They tell you they out there looking. Right? She says that they, you know, they went to see these big shrines and, and, these, and these temples and stuff and, and set in the first and thieves and went in that in hospital. She said one would think a 20 foot picture of the ark would show for all the little tent. Why were they overlooked? The researcher explains scholars are looking for white images. You can't solve a black mystery with a white face. The story of Moses is a real part of black heritage. And see, they'll give up everybody. They don't want them to give y'all either if you really want it, okay? But they don't want them, but they, they want Moses. That's what they want. If you want the key, that most of all they told you in the scripture, who is the key? Every prophet comes, he's going to come in. And look, if he comes in and against Moses, leave him off. Many scholars looking for the, for, the, for the white faces of today, today's greater Jewish population. Now, you want to see how it worked because it, it had to be in that image so that they can keep that white Jesus out there. All right? Fail to see the creator of the cornerstones of the religion Moses promoted, ancient monotheism. With the white perspective, with the white perspective, many scholars have devoted a life to the search for the lost art. Only to come up empty hand. The truth is that the Ark of the Covenant could be just one of the many portable arcs established in the Egyptian religion during the 18th dynasty. And they don't even argue with you if you, if you know that the 18th dynasty was definitely a what? Right. A black dynasty. All right? And they just one king. Okay? And that they were located in Egypt and, and uh, other provinces, which included Ethiopia and Syria. All right, I got it. Okay, I, I got from the Smithsonian and, 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 and other things, you know, they might have this stuff. They know this stuff, and they'll still got pictures of white sauce and all that about the white. And then, but when they show you the real picture of them who in possession, they eat them. All right, now, we come on down. This, this, you know, I love this. She says, to make new ones was for a variety of temples, probably up to. 26. She said, I'm not amazed that the ark has been found. It is surprising someone hasn't found more. Rise is, has recorded at least six in their location. The fact is, this is it, in a nutshell, that if the scientists or archaeologists had uncovered the ark, it would have come to light taking real slow. It would have come to light that the Bible 